What's up guys, Winston here and today we'll be unboxing the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300P. Alright, let's get started. Delivery notes. Alright. This is a mid tower case. Uh, suitable for all micro ATX and mini ITX motherboards. Um, Alright, let's tip this over. Okay. Alright, warranty information. It's the uh, quick start guide. There you go. So this is the uh, Cooler Master Masterbox Q300P. Um, it's a mid tower, uh, micro ATX form factor, uh, suitable for also uh, for the mini ITX. Shall I see? Look, it's got the handles here, right? Yes, for them. It's one, two, three, four. Um, it's got the uh, rubber grip as well on the handles. Very nice. Okay, it's not a uh, tempered glass, it's uh, plastic acrylic for the window. And uh, let's take a look at some screws. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's the uh, acrylic. Window. Yep, you can see inside it's quite uh, compact. Um, this, incidentally, the IO panel can be positioned in different uh, um, positioning. So there's one here, you can actually put that on the bottom, on the side here, as well as on the top. Um, power supply goes here, and then you have uh, the motherboard, the micro ATX form factor or a mini ITX includes a 120mm uh, fan at the back uh, it's got four yep four expansion slots there's your IO space here and then you have your uh, power supply there um, in the front there you can actually fit a 240mm radiator uh, I think it comes with fans already included, so look at the front. This incidentally, it's a uh, LED panel here which glows different colors. Um, up to 16 million colors. Nice. Steel back, and in here, the back of the motherboard tray, you can see that it's, uh, it's got some nice cable management uh, um, positions here. Uh, here, you can fit a hard drive, uh, five and a quarter hard drive, uh, or a two and a half inch up to you. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This uh, chassis is actually aimed at the mainstream user and uh, for people who want to build a system uh, that they can uh, carry with them to LAN parties uh, and things like that so it's a very convenient way of um, you know carrying the system you've got two handles on either side the front and the back uh, you can flip this around as well you can carry it whatever way you want uh, i can carry this to uh, LAN parties or showcase uh, but it's a, it's a portable uh, gaming slash mining rig which I can uh, carry around it's very nice it's got plenty of mesh grilling at the bottom here um, top the back and the front which allows you there to um, gives you extra cooling uh, the front has two uh, cooler master fans um, you just need to wire them up as you can see there they're all wired up here very nice 
and it's got the uh, the RGB headers as well. All right, so this front uh, panel comes off. So I'll show you. There you go. Again, acrylic. It's a very customizable chassis. Uh, as you can see, the, the front comes off, the top comes off as well, and uh, you can actually put extra fans on here. Alright, there you go. Steel chassis, steel construction. Um, it, it'll do the job, it's very nice quality. Um, not all steel chassis are uh, that high quality, but this one's very nice. We have some cooling options here, so there's two fans at the front here. And then uh, there's one at the back here, which is 120 millimeter uh, standard uh, kind of uh, master fan. Um, but yeah, you can replace these to have your own um, fans, um, ring fans, uh, whatever you want. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very nice chassis, lightweight, surprisingly. And uh, I do like the overall size. So we'll be using this uh, Coolmaster Master Box uh, Q300P in our next uh, uh, build. It'll be a gaming slash mining rig, and uh, we're going to be putting two graphics cards in there, uh, and also a nice Ryzen 5 24G. So um, hopefully it'll be nice. Uh, yeah, it's got the extra cooling light to like. I'm going to put an AIO in there as well, so it'll look uh, pretty good. All right. So also included is a bag of accessories. There's uh, some uh, f sticky pads for the foot. There's a uh, the RGB controller, yeah, and there's the uh, which is SATA powered. There's some uh, cable ties, uh, motherboard screws. All right, so on the uh, I/O panel we have uh, two USB 3s. There's a power button, and also the headphone and microphone jack, as well as the reset button. And this uh, I/O panel, incidentally, you can actually remove and place in different positionings of the chassis. Um, the back here, the top and the bottom, or actually on the other side uh, if you prefer. But uh, I tend to keep it uh, where I can actually see the actual system itself. Um, all in all, it's got a lot of space I think for a, a mid-tower chassis like this. I can see that there's plenty of room, I can actually fit a full-size um, power supply here. Um, the graphics card length is uh, 360 millimeters, so anything larger than that, I don't think it'll fit. But uh, with a chassis like this and a kind of mid tower system, uh, you probably want to go for the uh, the mini graphics cards, uh, which you know extend up here. So this is the unboxing of the Cooler Master Master Box Q300P uh, mid tower chassis, uh, suitable so for all micro ATX as well as uh, mini ITX motherboards. All right, so now we've done the unboxing. Don't forget to check out our next video because we'll be building a Ryzen system uh, in a time-lapse footage so you can check it out. Uh, in the meantime then, uh, please uh, give us a like and leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. This is Winston for FuckerKit.com.